Hey guys, this is Walter White. I mean, this is James White with Breaking Bad. I mean, freaking reviews. Bringing you as seen on TV product reviews and more. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so for more videos like this. Now today I've got a product called Night Hero, which is kind of an obscure as seen on TV product advertised as night vision binoculars. But did they really work? Let's check it out in today's review. All right, an overview of the Night Hero itself. We have the laser on off button here, center focus knob, the ocular lenses. And here is the battery compartment. It takes two AAA batteries not included. We have green laser, we have green laser, all right, good. They say you gotta focus on something at least 49 feet or 15 meters away. You're gonna obviously gonna adjust them this way. Laser operation, you just press and release the button. And that's all you do. So there really isn't a lot to it, which is good. All right, this definitely was not a planned video of mine. I've been having some technical difficulties with two other videos, but I found these Night Hero binoculars at a Target for 40 bucks. They were on the ASEAN TV shelf, so I thought I'd give it a shot in case any of you were curious how they really worked. The first thing I did last night was took it out in the dark to check out the night vision features. I was excited about that. Wasn't so excited after I tested them out. Here's how that went. Now usually I do products that are kind of advertised or heavily in stores. This is not the case here. This is something I wasn't really planning on doing because I've only seen it on store shelves. I've never seen advertisements for it. It's not even on the Bulbhead website even though it's a Bulbhead product. So I'm not sure if it was just test marketed, these are kind of leftovers or what, but I thought it'd be still be fun to see how well it works. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So what I'm gonna do here is test out the night vision portion of the binoculars. I wanted to point out something though. I have my Bell & Howell light bar, by the way. Looking at the back of the box here, notice that it says the word night vision a lot, but you know what it does not say? nor the instructions say it. It never uses the word infrared because this is not an infrared light. It's a green laser at 532 nanometers. So it's not infrared, it's a green laser. But they're calling that night vision, so I'm not sure. There's another night vision, night vision pair of binoculars on Amazon. I think it's called the K9 Cassini. It also uses a green light like this. It does not have good reviews because a green laser is not infrared. But let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I have my Taclite Elite, AKA Taclite Pro. If you can see that table down there, that is about 65 feet away from me right now. Pretty dark. All you can see is the glow from the Las Vegas Strip in the background. Do you see that green light? That's what it's using to illuminate the subject in the distance. It's not infrared, you can see it. So if you're looking for an infrared pair of binoculars, this is not it. This is a pair of binoculars with a green laser in the center. Now, I originally went to a field with my son to try to do some filming, but I realized that I don't see anything at night through these things, not in pitch black. Even with this night vision laser on, that's it. Like I'm looking through it right now. If I, if I point it above the table, I can see the night sky. But when I go down to where the table's supposed to be at, it's basically pitch black with some graininess in there that makes me think I'm seeing some objects. I'm not really sure. All right, we're out here in an empty field, but it is pitch black out here. So obviously I don't see anything on the desert floor. I'm looking at those lights in the distance. Let me turn on the night vision light. See if you can see it. Do you see the light? Okay. Can you see that light? That's kind of interesting. I don't really see anything. Come on, hang on. That's what the that's what the light looks like. What kind of shape is that? What is that shape? They say the range is 150 feet. I'm looking like 50 feet down and even with that green light on them, it's in focus. I really can't see anything. That green light is not illuminating anything. I'll put the camera up to the lens and see if you can see anything, but I don't see anything at all for these. Nothing. It's pitch black. The only thing out here is this green laser. It's the only light out here. Not only is it just a green laser and not an infrared light, 
but it's not even a very good green laser. It's a bad green laser on a kind of an average pair of binoculars. These are 10x binoculars with 40 mil millimeter lens diameter. So pretty average, nothing spe special, but the laser is below average. Look at that. What is that shape? What does that mean? It's not even a good laser. It's a bad laser. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you an example of how this thing looks. What do you guys see? Do you see anything? I didn't think so. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing absolutely nothing. That's how the night vision works or doesn't. So even though it's called night hero, I think the night portion is pretty bad. So maybe what I'll try to do tomorrow in the daytime is see if I can get these to at least function as a decent pair of regular binoculars. Cause as far as I'm concerned, the night portion of the night hero is out. Maybe it'll be a hero in the daytime without the night part. So tomorrow morning, let's try out the night, cross it out, hero binoculars. So because the night vision features are pretty dismal, I figured I would try out the daytime binoculars, just regular binoculars, and see how they do, if maybe at least it's a decent pair of regular binoculars. I've had binoculars over the years. These are on par with the 10X binoculars I've tried in the past. So I don't think that they're really that bad. What I'll try to do now is show you the same scene I was trying to show you last night, but it was too dark. And I'm not sure how well it'll do holding this up to the camera, but I'll give it a shot anyways. All right, that is the table that I was looking at last night in the dark. The magnification is pretty good. It actually looks better through the binoculars than it does here because I'm holding it up to the lens, which is not the best way to do this. There might be some tech guys out there that know how to do a better way. I don't, so this is what you get. You guys probably didn't know I had a house the view, did you? You can't see it on camera, but right there is the stratosphere down on by the strip. Let's see if we can see it here. There it is. That's right. I got a house of the view. I can officially see the stratosphere from here. Ha. All right. What I'm going to do now is show you, try to give you a better example. I've had the magnification up there is black mountain and there's some antennas up there. I will zoom my camera, which this camera is about three X. So I'll show you what the, this camera shows. That's about all I can do. Three X. Now, I know it's not a perfect way of showing you binoculars, but I'm going to put the camera up to the binoculars and show you about how they look. So now that building, I can't even, I can see with my naked eye, but you can see a lot more details with these binoculars. I think it looks pretty good. And the quality, when you look through it, is actually better in the binoculars than what I'm seeing in my camera. So I think that it's 10X binoculars. They're not, they're really not that bad. You can see that satellite dish on the right. With my camera zoomed in, you really can't see it. And this is 3X. I'm pretty happy with them as daytime binoculars. They're really not that bad. They're not extraordinary, but not, not that bad. So really, I don't have a lot to show you because it's not really easy for me to show you inside here. But I will say that they're compact. They, they feel well made. They feel rugged. There actually is a place to mount it on a tripod right here as well, if that's a concern of yours. So I think besides the night vision feature, which is what it's advertised for, it's a decent pair of binoculars. Now you're gonna buy these for the night vision, which to me, they didn't work very well. But you can buy a standard pair of binoculars for 40 bucks without this green laser night vision feature that doesn't work that well anyways. I think if you're looking for a regular pair of binoculars, they're not terrible. If you're looking for a pair of night vision binoculars, you might wanna keep looking. I was looking at the side of the box earlier. It says, Amazing night vision binoculars. Well, I want to help them out a little bit to make this a little more accurate. First of all, I don't think I'd call it night vision. We're going to get rid of the night vision right there. All right. Now, it says amazing binoculars. I think they're kind of standard. They're not really that amazing, so let's do that too. All right. Binoculars. Now we're talking. That's more accurate. These are binoculars. I wouldn't call them that amazing, and I certainly wouldn't call them night vision when you got a weak green laser. But they're binoculars. They are binoculars. So in the end, I cannot give the night hero a ringing endorsement. I know it surprises you, but I think as far as the binoculars goes, I'd give it about a five out of 10. As far as the night vision goes, I'd give it about a 0 0.5 out of 10, because I'm being generous today. For 40 bucks, I don't think that the night vision feature offers anything of value to this product. But on the other hand, I don't know if this is really something they're advertising much, it's not on their website. I think it might be out there in limited quantities and that's it. But it was a fun product review, even though 
it didn't work so great. Have you used this product? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. Also check out my new Patreon page. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, Freaking Reviews.